Moving on, moving on, since we know that we'll get to the part where we can solve everything wrong in reality and we should just be hired as endless consultants. But let's go to Kyle and Morgan Wade. So in the video for Morgan's song, they play lovers. And Maurizio commented on it, quote, when they kiss, so good. I mean, have we all just been played? I mean, is that just, and a lot of people online are saying we've been queer baited. It's like, look, these are- this Queer is, baited? Is this a, yeah. new, is this a no. new saying? I've heard, it's like, I haven't heard it in a long time. It's like, I don't even, I just don't know what the point of all this was. I mean, she is producing a documentary on Morgan, which I don't even know how you decide to do that. So, I mean- I don't know. Like, look, this is a showbiz family, right? Like Mauricio has buying Beverly Hills. She has Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I guess Morgan's your friend. I mean, I think this helps Morgan more than anybody else. I mean, well, I, I think would it helps. never. Everybody's going to turn do. in. I didn't know who Morgan Wade was until all this started. Same. Everyone's going to turn it, tune in to Beverly Hills to see what's going on. And you and I had discussed about, is this hard on the kids? Let's not forget. The kids have been a part of this since Kyle started the show, which you said was, what, 16 years ago? Yeah. This is a full showbiz family. Let's not forget that Kyle is one of three sisters. Kathy, Kyle, and Kim. Kyle and Kim were actresses, and Kathy married a Hilton. This is, a this is again, talk about the Kardashians being smart. Those Richards girls knew what they were doing. And you have a cousin who, I mean, oh, as far Paris. as I'm concerned, started is was the first in social media. Like I feel that Paris was there before all of us. Yeah, as far Paris as is happened. Paris is their cousin. You know, Nikki's married to a Rothschild and has their own line. I mean, this family is savvy. Yeah. So I wouldn't say put it past that they're just led. They're not. I don't think they're doing anything on purpose, but they're certainly not letting the. They're not shutting down the rumors. They're throwing gasoline onto them. Yeah, I mean, Kyle does say, oh, leave me alone. I don't want to be asked about this anymore. But right, I mean, you can say it all day. It doesn't make it true. Well, being told, being said that you, saying that you don't want to be asked about it just makes everybody ask you more and more and more. And you control the narrative of when you want to say anything. Yeah, because there really hasn't been a lot of gossip from Beverly Hills Housewives of what's happening and what we can expect. I mean, now some is starting to surface, but I can tell you no one is saying, where's Lisa Rinna anymore? I mean, we are we are way past that. Oh, absolutely. And also, you know, New York's getting the buzz for the new Housewives below deck with that horrible story. Vanderpump with, you know, Scandaval. It's like they're just teeing up. Bravo's outsmarting all of us. They're just teeing up the excitement for the next season. When something all, like way, this. All, all in order. Yeah. All in order. Yeah. I mean, when something like this happens, whether it's planned or not, and it's Kyle and Morgan and you wake up to this and Mauricio, I mean, somebody at Bravo has to just say like, wow, well, we, we didn't ask for this, but OK, we, we have a plan here today, people. Oh, every network does. So. You found out more about my latest obsession, which is the Golden Bachelor. Do tell. He's, he started doing some interviews. And I mean, he says, listen, I mean, I think that they're listening to you and me talk, Melissa, because they're focusing on what age are you going to want? And they asked him, like, is this hard not having say in the women? Like, you know, because they find the women. And he said, Listen, I've tried to date after my wife. I, I've been horrible on picking. I want no say in who shows up. I trust ABC. But he says that he wants to date and choose someone in their 60s and 70s. So I would like this to be noted today when we're doing this podcast, this episode. Let's see who he chooses. He says 60s and 70s. And he's in his early 70s, I think 72 I don't know about this, like you and I talked about. I predict the same thing. There might be someone in like their early 50s, maybe late 40s. That's my prediction. Early 50s but, is what I think he ends up with. Me too. Me too. Um, I, You know, don't get me started on men being full of shit when they say they want someone their own age. Let's, you know, 
I, I, I'm okay to have that conversation yes. with you any day you want because I, oh, yeah. I agree with that. I but, agree with that. So you and I were talking. Bachelor's been actually having quite a bit a new, quite a bit of news lately, affairs. And what I find interesting is a lot of Bachelor and Bachelorette former uh, contestants are coming out as either gay or bisexual. There seems to be a big run on this. So, so, so yeah, I would say so far we've got this. We, you and I looked at this, eight Bachelor Nation stars who have come out. Gabby Windy, she talked about it on The View. Colton Underwood, we all knew. Demi Burnett from Underwood Season. And the list goes on and on and on and on. How come, two questions, and this is where we're going into our consulting mode. Why did they know this when these people were picked? But, and again, M&D Consulting, we're ready. How good is this for the franchise? Do we think, and I think, these things should be discussed in the show because I think it adds a whole new twist, a whole different twist. First of all, you could have uh, bachelors and bachelorettes hooking up within the house. Uh, What about if one of them wanted to date date someone who was bisexual? What if one of the bachelorettes picked another woman? I think it opens up the floodgates of creativity within the show. And the bachelor could use a little zhuzhing. Yeah. I mean, the ratings are still, you know, good. amazing. Yeah. Yes. Very amazing, but not what they used to be. I am all for this. And I think you could do it one of two ways. This is where M&D Consulting is open for business. Call us, guys. But, you know, will ABC, and you could do it like you could have a lead bachelor that is also bisexual because now you could have people in the house that are either straight or bisexual or gay, whatever. And so they, yeah, there would be, look, Temptation Island, F-Boy Island, Bachelor in Paradise, all these shows are very popular you spend more time in the house than on these dates with the actual bachelor. Or you could have a bachelor who's who's not by and just the house members. But yeah, this leads to, it'll spice it up a little bit. Listen, if this were TLC, MTV even is in the reality game again now and like Bravo, but will ABC ever go there? I think it's a great idea, personally. Well, and I yes, think, yeah. I think it just adds such a modern twist and a fascinating twist to the show you know if you're on the bachelorette and she's like i like this person what happens if that person isn't bisexual